And welcome everyone to a Big Ten Network off-season chat. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Purdue's Jaden Ivey. And uh, Jaden, it seems like everyone's maybe entering the draft, they're in the portal. Uh-uh, not with you, not with pretty much most of this Purdue team. Why mm. did you decide, you know what, I'm staying put. This is where I want to be. I'm not flirting with anything. Um, well, I, I think uh, it, it just comes to say we got un- un- unfinished business, um, you know, just – you know the how it ended. Um, it, it, we didn't we didn't picture that. You know how it ended, and um, you know I think you know with the guys coming back, um, and you know the talent that we have, um, I think you know we can make some noise. You know next year, and um, so it's it's just all about you know we have unfinished business to take care of, and um, you know we're just gonna keep working. Yeah, the most notable name, obviously Travion Williams. We'll see what he does. Uh, if he returns after entering his name into the draft, not the portal, uh, you were the second leading scorer, but you know, 11 points game. That's overall, you had 26 in that loss to North Texas. You know, I was singing your praises among many in terms of your star rising in the big 10. What can you build off of that performance and the way you played at the end of the season into next season? Um, I think it's just, it just comes to show um, how much work I put in. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't give up, you know, it was games where, you know, I was, I was low and, um, it just shows that, you know, how much work I put in, I put in a lot of time in the gym and, um, and, you know, that's just going to continue to pay off. And, um, but, you know, as, as this season is going to come along, it's just, you know, getting to my, more um, to my spots and, um, you know, I, I, the, obviously it was just my first year and, um, you know, so I learned a lot, you know, on the court and, um, it, it's just taking what I've learned and um, just applying it on the court. Yeah, I mean, there's no question. You're just scratching the surface. Where do you think is your biggest area for growth? Um, I think on the defensive side. Um, I think, you know, I can show a lot of scouts that, um, you know, I I am a, a, a great defensive player. And um, it's just, it's just going to, you know, as time goes along, um, I'm just going to continue to keep getting better and, um, you know, showing, you know, other sides, you know, obviously, you know, the offensive part is there and um, it just shows, you know, how much work I put in. But I feel like, you know, on the defensive side, I can be a great, you know, two way player. And, um, you know, I can show, you know, a, a lot of people, you know, why I'm, you know, a great player. So, look, I know a lot of us throw the word culture around a lot, but it sticks with Purdue. There's no question. People don't just leave Purdue uh, unless unless they have a great opportunity. What is it and what have you found in the short amount of time that makes people want to be at Purdue in this program and play for Coach Painter? I, I think it, you know, I think it comes, you know, with the coaches. Um, we have a great staff here and um, I think, you know, they give us the confidence, they instill the confidence in us to, you know, you know, put, you know, together something on the court. Um, and, you know, I think it just comes with trust and you know, we, we all trust, you know, the coaches to, you know, put us in the right positions to succeed. So, you know, the last two things, uh, Jaden, is you guys did probably better than any other team that I can think of or one of the best in terms of handling COVID. I know Sasha had to go through it, but for the most part, you guys really were locked in disciplined. Uh, how yeah. would you explain what you went through this past season? Um, You know, this this past season was a lot up and up ups and downs. Um, I think, you know, just with COVID and everything, it just made, you know, everything a little hectic. Um, we didn't know it was a lot of uncertainty, you know, just, you know, coming starting the year. Um, and I think, you know, how we handle it, you know, during the year was, you know, amazing. And it just shows to, you know, um, you know, everyone at Purdue that, you know, just help, you know, make this happen for us. And, um, you know, it, it just shows to, you know, how much work we put in and, um, and, you know, Obviously, you know, this this upcoming year, um, you know, hopefully, you know, everything can get back to normal. But, um, you know, this year was, you know, a lot of ups and downs. And, um, you know, we just stuck through it. All right. Last thing, all things being equal, let's hope that Travion comes back. And if he does, how good can Purdue be? I think, you know, we can be a championship team. Um, you know, obviously we have a, you know, a great head coach and coach painter. Um, you know, along with a lot of talent on this team, um, along with, you know, some incoming freshmen that, you know, are going to get into the system. And, um, but I think, you know, this, this, 
this team can be something special. Um, you know, I think, you know, one of the best, you know, teams, you know, in, in Purdue history, honestly. And um, it just shows, you know, I, obviously I have a lot of confidence, you know, in myself um, and in my teammates. And um, I just think, you know, with the work we put in, um, we can do something special. And, um, you know, I'm just excited to, you know, see what's in store and, um, you know, hopefully we can get it done. Appreciate it, Jaden. Great you're back for the Big Ten and for college basketball. I know we'll talk soon. Stay safe. Thank you.